Quality is all in execution. Purgatory isn't a real stranger to the realm of science fiction and fantasy, but it's a great storytelling device nonetheless. Entering Angel Beats, all the elements are there for a good time. You have likable characters, great action with lots of gunfire, and enough on-the-spot humor to leave this reviewer in stitches. However, not as all as it seems. In this case, what begins as a light-hearted, quirky affair in a rather cartoonish afterlife evolves into something unexpectedly rich. One of the best examples of this is in the female lead, Yuri. She's the leader of a group of rebel fighters who have decided to fight a mysterious being labeled as Angel. In Yuri's eyes, she's cheating God in order to keep living. She refuses to accept her mortality and continues to fight a never-ending battle to keep from slipping away. Her and her little brigade are stuck on a self-proclaimed battlefield, a place that is meant to be the platform for souls to find their way to acceptance before passing on. The problem is, no one knows what happens after you do pass on. Yuri and many others like her refuse to accept the fact that they may come back as water fleas or something worse, and so would rather take their chances against the angel and stay on the battlefield between death and rebirth. On first sight, Yuri seems to fit perfectly within the Sundere character type, and rightfully so. She is a Sundere. In fact, she's so Sundere that she seems to be almost directly modeled after Haruhi Suzumeya, but that's a complaint that many other critics have already thrown at this show, so I won't go too much into it. Really, what can be said about Yuri can be said about everything else in this series, and that is, underneath all the folds of familiarity is such an energy and enthusiasm that it's very hard not to fall in love with it. Sure, Yuri may be Sundere, but she has her reasons, and despite being very easily labeled with such a title, she still feels like a natural character within this particular world. It's no surprise that many of the show's greatest moments come with the exploration of people's lives before they die. To say anything more would be giving a good chunk of the show away, but one of the most fascinating details about the series, and part of the reason why it works so well, is the difference between the purgatory-like plane that the characters find themselves in and the reality that they came from. The battlefield that Yuri wages on is full of very Warner Brothers-esque slapstick moments, and the action is so over the top that it borders on being a parody in and of itself. What makes this so acceptable is the fact that this world runs under its own rules as opposed to actual reality. When flashed back to how these characters lived before they died, none of the cartoony humor or blistering action exists. It's still drawn in a very anime-esque style, but the ways in which these characters interact with each other is very realistic within the real world. It may be a little off-putting to see high schoolers running around with guns right at the very beginning of the series, but when you come to grips with the fact that many of these characters would have never been handy with a gun in actual reality, it becomes apparent what the show is aiming for. Things in the afterlife that may have seemed fantastic in reality are an everyday occurrence. High schoolers with rocket launchers are deemed as a necessity in the afterlife. Yuri the Sundere directly conflicts with the tragic life that she had led. This can be related to almost every character, and there are a lot of them in this large ensemble cast. The show makes sure that every major player gets a moment in the sunlight, and all of them have more texture than one would originally anticipate from first impressions. This is a show that warrants more than one viewing. As the layers peel back and you begin to realize what's underneath Angel Beat's charming and energetic exterior, you'll begin to realize that there's a tortured soul underneath it all. A sliver of sadness and melancholy that rides over the whole story, even in its funniest and most childish moments. There are, however, plenty of cliché moments, and sometimes the over-sentimentality of shows such as canon sneaks into the production. This is especially apparent when characters have what I like to call the this-is-why-I-am-the-way-I-am flashbacks. While some stand up as being truly emotional, some go a bit overboard in trying to wring tears out of the viewer. Subtlety has never been a huge factor in key stories. Angel Beats is an adaptation of a story from the same company who created Clan Ad. But I believe the old saying of, you'll laugh, you'll cry, and you'll stand on the edge of your seat isn't too far off when describing this series. If you give it time, it may take you by surprise. Much like other anime greats, it succeeds on pleasing many different audiences. Fans of action will appreciate the early battles between Yuri and the Angel. Fans of humorous slice-of-life anime will find many moments which are nearly on par with Toradora in the category of laughter. And most importantly, sad saps like me will find plenty to cry about. So three cheers and four out of four, five stars for Angel Beats and the tenacious leader, Yuri. They're both worth remembering, at the very least. Four out of five.